I wanted to do a quick video about a little bit about tendon injuries and how we look to fix them. So for this I, I have a model here. This is my model. It's a piece of paper. Um, it's a good model of tendon because paper is made up of fibers. Tendon is made up of fibers. The only difference is tendon is made up of collagen fibers. And if we're pulling on this tendon this way, the, all those collagen fibers would be aligned, whereas the fibers in the paper are kind of randomly associated. But everything works well. When, when everything is intact, we load the tissue, you hear that snapping sound, it's really good. Now what happens if we have a small injury? So I'm just going to model that with this tear. You can see the tear there. Everybody can try this at home because you might not believe me, but this is what happens. So if I have a tear here, if I load it, what do you think is going to happen? You think it's going to tear right through? And that doesn't. And the reason it doesn't is because of a process called stress shielding. Stress shielding, what it means is all of the load or the stress goes around the area where there's damage. Going around the area of damage means that we're protected from tearing this all the way through. The problem is when I'm trying to fix this, I'm trying to heal this, what I need to do is I need to get directional load through this area. And every time I load it by running, jumping, doing any kind of activity that way, I'm getting stress shielding. So what I have to do is I have to take advantage of something called stress relaxation. There, what we're going to do is we're going to pull and we're going to hold it, and we're going to hold it and hold it, because what will happen is the strong parts of the, of the tissue here, of the fibers, will begin to relax. And as they relax, we'll get load through this. Because there's no healing area here, that load is going to cause this to tear. But again, like I said, try it at home because you might not believe me, but I'm just pulling and holding. I'm not pulling any harder than I did before, but because I'm holding, the strong parts are beginning to relax. Because you can't hold that tension, they're going to slowly relax. As they relax, load goes through the little damaged area. If we had partially